Have you ever wondered why Scottish clans aren't just about tartans and castles, but actually carry secrets in their DNA that trace back hundreds of years? Some of these clans share names, lands, and histories, but their genetics tell a story that's completely different from what the records say. Today we're diving into the DNA of 35 Scottish clans and uncovering how these ancient families differ from each other genetically, even when history tried to make them look similar. You're about to see connections, surprises, and twists in Scottish history that most people have never heard of. Scotland has a long and complicated history, and its clans are at the heart of it. Each clan has its own name, its own tartan, its own castle, and for centuries, its own legacy. But with modern genetic testing, we can now look past written records and legends and see who is actually related to whom. We're not just talking about general family trees here. We're talking about Y-DNA, the markers passed strictly from father to son over generations. These markers allow us to see small changes that identify particular lineages, and when applied to Scottish clans, they reveal fascinating stories of loyalty, war, marriage, and migration. Let's start with one of the better-known clans, Clan Boyd. Boyd is still a common surname in Scotland today, but where did it come from? Clan Boyd originates from the southwest of Scotland, mainly associated with the county of Ayr. Dean Castle in Kilmarnock served as a stronghold for the Boyds for centuries. The name Boyd is thought to come from a Gaelic word meaning yellow or fair-haired, possibly referring to the physical traits of an early ancestor. But the origins of the noble Boyd family are a bit uncertain. Some suggest that they descend from Simon, the brother of Walter Fitzalan. If you remember the Fitzalans from earlier Scottish history, they came from Brittany and France, arriving in England after the Norman conquest of 1066 and played a key role in the origins of Clan Stuart. However, this connection isn't confirmed by genetics. DNA results indicate that the Boyds are not from the same male line as the Stuarts. Others suggest the first Boyds were linked to a Norman family called Deval, named after a commune in Normandy. The first recorded use of the surname Boyd in Scotland is linked to Robert Boyd, who was a witness to a contract in 1252 pertaining to Irvine, an heir. One of the most notable figures was Sir Robert Boyd of Kilmarnock, who lived between 1270 and 1333. He was granted lands for his loyalty to Robert the Bruce during the First Scottish War of Independence and fought in several key battles, including commanding at the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314. His descendants carried genetic markers that we can identify today through Y-DNA testing. The Boyd clan falls under the broader R1B haplogroup, which is common among Scottish clans. A specific marker, RFCG12774, is mainly found among people with the surname Boyd and likely originated after the surname was firmly established in the late 12th century. Another marker, FT10266, is found in the descendants of William Boyd, 4th Earl of Kilmarnock, who was executed for treason in 1746. Next, let's explore Clan Maxwell. Maxwell is a Scottish lowland clan tied to the Dumfries area in southern Scotland, and their historical stronghold is Caerlaverock Castle, a triangular fortress first built in the 13th century. The surname Maxwell comes from Marcus Well, referencing a 12th century Norman nobleman named Marcus who controlled lands along the River Tweed. Over time, Marcus Well evolved into Maxwell. Why DNA testing shows that the Maxwells are also part of the R1B haplogroup with several sub-markers. RM7884 indicates descent from Herbert Maxwell born around 1268 while Y131342 traces back to John Maxwell of Nether Pollock, who lived from 1340 to 1405. Additional markers, including RA11273 and Y2357, trace to other Maxwell ancestors born between the 14th and 15th centuries. Moving to Clan Dunbar, this is another fascinating lineage. The name Dunbar comes from two Gaelic words, Dun meaning fort and Bar meaning summit or headland, referencing Dunbar Castle on Scotland's east coast. 
the Dunbars have one of the longest documented male ancestries in Britain, dating back to Cron and Theon in the 10th century. While there's some debate about whether Cron was the same person as Crenan, the father of King Duncan I, it's clear that the male lineage continues to this day. A key ancestor, G. Patrick, the first Earl of Northumbria, lived around 1040 to 1080 AD, and his descendants held lands in southeast Scotland for centuries. Dunbar UDNA markers are also within the R1B haplogroup, including RFT9340, which traces back to David Dunbar of Duras, 1463 to 1521, and RA23577 linked to Alexander Dunbar of Westfield, 1425 to 1497. Other markers, RA18769 is linked to members of Dunbar known to have learned the UDNA signature and have similar tests confirming their descent from David Dunbar of Duras. Clan Seton and in turn Gordon show how marriage and inheritance shaped Scottish lineages. The Setons traced their origins to Norman knights from the village of Seton in Normandy or possibly a Flemish connection. Alexander Seton married into the Gordon family in the 15th century, and their descendants adopted the Gordon surname while retaining the Seton UDNA line. Genetic markers RFCG15048 and RBY72284 show these connections, and RFT21058 is linked specifically to Gordon descendants from this marriage. This brings us to the high-level overview of 32 Scottish clan chiefs and their DNA. Different clans belong to different Y-DNA haplogroups, reflecting their ancient male line origins. For example, Clan Cahoon is EV13, Clan Hamilton is I1Z63, Clan Lion is I1L22, Clan Barkley is I2A1M26, and Clan Lindsay is I2A1AL1286. Clan MacDonald is R1AZ284, alongside MacDougall, Home, and Cochrane. Clan Gordon, Sinclair, and Boyd all fall under R1B U106. Border clans like Armstrong are R1B P312, as is Clan Rant. Clans Bruce, Sutherland, and Murray fall under R1B DF217, while clans such as McLean, Drummond, Mackenzie, Cameron, Campbell, McLaren, McPherson, Banan, and McGregor fall under R1BL21. What's fascinating is how these genetic markers confirm or challenge what history and clan traditions claim. Some clans thought to be related due to shared names or lands aren't genetically linked at all, while others that seem unrelated share the same paternal lineage. For anyone tracing their Scottish ancestry, this DNA perspective provides a whole new layer of understanding. It also shows the power of modern science in unlocking the hidden stories of the past. Even within the same haplogroup, there are submarkers, or SNPs, which can indicate descent from a specific individual or family line. For example, the Boyd markers FT10266 and FT10266 show links to both Sir Robert Boyd and William Boyd, 4th Earl of Kilmarnock. Similarly, Maxwell submarkers like RM7884 and Y131342 trace descent from Herbert Maxwell and John Maxwell of Nether Pollock. These small changes in DNA, passed down for centuries, are what make the study of Scottish clan genetics so compelling. In short, the story of Scottish clans is more than just tartans, castles, and historic battles. It's a story written in DNA connecting people across centuries, confirming legends, and sometimes revealing surprises. While historical records tell one story, genetics tells another, often more accurate tale. And by combining both, we get a much clearer picture of Scotland's past and the families who shaped it. If you're a Boyd, a Maxwell, a Dunbar, or even a Seton or Borden, your DNA carries a story that goes back hundreds of years. And for those who belong to other Scottish clans, the same is true. Your paternal line might connect you to a historic figure, a famous battle, or even a castle. The more we study these markers, the more we uncover the hidden connections and separations between clans, showing just how complex Scottish history really is. 
Understanding Scottish clan DNA isn't just academic, it's personal. It helps people connect with their ancestors in a tangible way. When you see your Y DNA marker, you're not just seeing letters and numbers, you're seeing a lineage that has survived wars, migrations, and centuries of change. You're seeing your place in a story that stretches far beyond what's written in history books. The interplay of history, genealogy, and genetics makes Scotland a particularly rich subject for study. Each clan's story is unique, and the DNA often tells us things we wouldn't otherwise know. For instance, the Seton-Gordon connection highlights how marriage alliances altered both names and lineages. The Boyds demonstrate how loyalty to kings in battles can leave a genetic imprint on their descendants. The Dunbars show continuity over centuries, blending historical records with DNA evidence. And the Maxwells illustrate how a Norman immigrant could leave a lasting Scottish legacy that can still be traced today. In exploring all 35 clans, patterns emerge. Many lowland clans share certain R1B markers, while highland clans often show different subgroups like R1BL21 or R1AZ284. These patterns reflect centuries of settlement, migration, conquest, and intermarriage. The diversity within haplogroups also reflect how some clans expanded and split into multiple branches, each carrying unique markers. Even within a single clan, different branches can show slightly different SNPs, telling micro-stories of family lines that diverged hundreds of years ago. Ultimately, studying Scottish clan DNA gives us a richer understanding of the past. It confirms some parts of history, challenges others, and fills in gaps that written records can't. It tells us that Scottish clans aren't just about tartans and castles. They're living stories encoded in the people themselves. And as more descendants take DNA tests, the story continues to grow, giving us deeper insight into Scotland's fascinating history. If you want to dive deeper, check out the first part of this series where we explore specific clans like Campbell and Bruce in more detail. The DNA markers discussed there provide even more insight into how these clans evolved over time and how their genetic legacy persists today. Your connection to these clans isn't just historical, it's genetic. Each Scottish surname carries markers of loyalty, battle, migration, and survival. By looking at these markers, we get a unique view into how intertwined Scottish history really is, and how each clan contributed to the nation we know today. Subscribe our channel to see the complete breakdown of Clan Campbell, Bruce, and more, and learn what their DNA reveals about their past.